Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threadster, NurseRN.com, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about some of the things that were the hardest for me about nursing school. Now, I get this question a lot from viewers. They ask me, you know, I'm going through this in nursing school. Did you experience this? Is this normal? So in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna outline the things that were hardest for me. Number one, the non-stop assignments and studying. One of the things I found most difficult about nursing school was that constant workload. For instance, I would look at my schedule because I had my planner, everything organized, and I would say, okay, I have a test coming up, have a quiz, discussion board, but guess what? Whenever that's done, I have 50 other things to do. So it was just really mentally exhausting knowing that I was never going to have any um, time to just not think about nursing school. It was going to be constant. Every weekend was going to be spent studying or um, preparing for this. And then on the in the back of my mind, I had, wow, I've got to be making sure I'm studying for NCLEX. I'm studying for um, HESI exams, which were the proficiency exams I had to take throughout nursing school. So um, you really never have any time off just to not really think about nursing school because during the breaks and during the summer, you're thinking, okay, I've got to be studying for those proficiency exams that are coming up or NCLEX coming up so I can pass. And so you can get really um, just tired from that and just exhausted. So one thing that I thought that helped me through it was that although I knew all this stuff was coming up, I would take time to rest, to take a nap, to um, do something, even though initially I would feel guilty thinking, wow, if I do this, this is going to put me even more behind and um, might not help. But I found that whenever I actually did take an hour or two or whatever, it would actually make me feel more re-energized and I could come and attack it. And it helped prevent me from um, experiencing that burnout you can experience in nursing school. So always try to do that. Number two, you have to learn a lot of complex material in a short amount of time. Another thing I found that was hard about nursing school was that we were required to learn this complex material in such a short amount of time. And you felt like, I know I did that, maybe at times I wasn't really retaining the information. And I remember thinking specifically, wow, how am I gonna remember all these diseases, all these nursing interventions for NCLEX and for whenever I actually become a nurse and work on the job because I don't wanna hurt anyone and I don't wanna make some mistake. So um, I felt like that um, there's all this material you have to know and you have to remember and that at times it wasn't sticking. But after a while, once I actually started working as a nurse um, and got experience, I really noticed that the theory I did learn in class was coming back to me. And I was remembering, oh, hey, I see why that doctor ordered this test or why they're on this medication. And it just started making sense. And if you are experiencing this and you feel like you're not retaining this information, don't kick yourself. Because whenever you um, get a job as a nurse, you're probably gonna specialize in something. So say you're gonna be working on a med surge floor with adults. You know, you don't have to remember all that stuff from maternity nursing because um, on the job, you're gonna get trained for exactly what you need to know. You're gonna be coming familiar with all these medications, regular tests that are ordered on your floor, and you're gonna be able to be comfortable and um, not have to know and remember all of that stuff you learn in nursing school because you're gonna get trained of what you need to know. Number three, the stress of NCLEX and proficiency exams. Nursing school is a little bit different than most other degrees you can earn because a lot of programs require you to take proficiency exams. Um, I had to take the HESI proficiency exams and I had to pass them, them throughout um, various semesters in order to actually proceed throughout the program. If you didn't pass it, um, you actually got held back or you could get kicked out or you couldn't graduate. So. Um, for me, I was always stressed because I had this HESI exam hanging over my head, along with having to pass regular exams and classes, going to clinicals, completing projects and everything like that. And I always felt like, wow, am I going to remember this material to pass this HESI exam? Which in a sense ties back to the previous point I just went over. Um, feeling like, I'm, am I really retaining this material so I can progress onward? And um, if you are going through this and you're wondering this and you're stressing out about this, from my experience, the HESI exams that I had to take throughout nursing school, I really feel like they did help me pass NCLEX because it prepared me in what this exam is going to be looking for, what concepts they're going to test me on, how they're going to present their questions, 
and it kept me studying constantly out of my NCLEX review books. And so it helped me in the long run pass that NCLEX exam first try. So even though I complained about them all through nursing school and hated having to take them, I think in the long run they did help. So um, just keep that in mind if you're having to take those proficiency exams. Number four, staying motivated. For me, nursing school was like this intense roller coaster ride, and I had several periods where I struggled with staying motivated. Um, I had uh, issues with wanting to sit down and crack open those books and start prepping for those exams. I just didn't want to because it felt like a chore. And the reason that a, a lot of people start losing motivation in nursing school is because they may be performing bad on some exams or just may be performing bad the whole semester and they say to themselves, why even go through this? Is it even worth it? I don't even know about this anymore. But um, if you are going through this, I just want you to know that it is normal. I experience this. We all experience this. And, as, and if as a nursing student, you don't experience it, then you are one of the lucky ones. But um, just know that it will get better. Now, um, to help you put a positive spin on this, um, just remember that nursing school is the small season of your life. And five, 10 years from now, when you look back at this whole thing you went through with nursing school, you will um, really be like, wow, I'm glad I stayed with it because I'm a nurse now, um, I'm working, I'm enjoying it. And um, in a warped way, you may actually miss nursing school just a little bit, but then you'll come back to reality and be like, I'm glad that's over with. But um, just know that um, you will feel periods where you feel unmotivated and which is really the whole reason why I created my YouTube channel. I want this channel and my website to be a resource for you all because I know how hard this is. And um, one of the things working as a nurse and um, teaching my patients and teaching nursing students, I really just want to help you all get through this and that you can come to my channel, you can watch my lectures and help you understand that complex material that you're getting in class and help, giving you, help give you some motivation pieces so you can get through the program because it's so worth it. And um, I love being a nurse and I know that if you're in it, you're gonna love it as well because we get to touch so many people's lives and um, we get to do just so much. So um, I hope that this helped you understand the hardest things I struggled with in nursing school. And thank you so much for watching.